Yuri, do you have a minute? Hmm? Yeah, sure, what's up? Not here. I'll be waiting at the entrance. Hmm? You ready? So, are you gonna tell me why you're so serious? Are you just gonna go like this? Huh? The people who command the entire world are gathered here. Now's the time to tell them all you've done. Not this again. Half of my achievements, or more, are really yours. So what? It doesn't matter who did them. It does. Why do you always choose the option that's bad for you? Why do you try to bear everything by yourself? Do you think I can't take the burden? You're carrying what I can't. I know I can do what I want only because someone's watching out for me. But... Forget it. I can't explain. I'll just yell at you again. <laughs> and that... Try it like this. Yuri! You're not gonna beat me in an argument. But you know what you can beat me in. This. Yeah. You're right. Just like always. Everything I feel is in this sword. Good. Come on! I'll blow you away! You keep getting better. You do too. I guess life has taught us both a few things. How many years has it been since we fought like this? Uh, we fought in the Colosseum. You forget already? Of course not. Just, you know, a lot of stuff has happened. It's... Yeah? It's just different. <laughs> yeah. It feels different for me, too. I wonder what it is. Does it matter? I am so gonna kick your ass. No, 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 no. I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, it's on now. I won?
I can't even win with a sword anymore. Ha <laughs> ha loser. You've gotten better, Yuri. <sighs> you too. You would have beaten me easy if you were still like when we were kids. Didn't we swear on our swords when we were kids? We would fight to make people smile. Yeah, even if we follow different paths. Even if we bear different burdens. Even if people praised us or hated us. The knights and the guilds won't change, right? There are places in each of us the other can't reach. That's why we're not alone. <laughs> 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 work. Connect the spirits directly with the core and excite it. Converge the generated power onto Vesperia number one through the four spirits and then use it against the Autophagos. I was the one to find this method. Synchronize this device with the barrier Blastia placed around the world and then use it to interfere with the surrounding Blastia. Ugh. That speech was as sinuous as an octopus's legs. Carol has no hope of understanding. Not like you got it either! So you mean we can transform the Blastia Core into spirits, right? That's what I've been telling you! I knew you could do it, Rita! Our only problem is time. We need to build the Blastia Core network and prepare for the Converge process simultaneously. I'll handle the network! We do have some people from Ospio who can help, too! We'll need a guard, too. Better keep an eye on the monsters in the Atafagos. The knights will take that position. We will protect all with our life. The guild will back up wherever necessary. We also have engineers who can help. Hey! This is gonna work out! So then, is Vesperia number one ready for action? Not quite. I don't have everything I need to make the body yet. I'm working on all the necessary calculations, but we still need to find compatible parts. Then wouldn't it be better just to make a new one from scratch? There should be plenty of people and materials here. Hey, that's a great idea. We can start with the network construction. How's that sound? Yeah, it could end up being faster if you can do that. Then it's decided. We'll get everyone together so you can explain in more detail later. Everyone's pitching in to make a weapon that can defeat the Autophagos! Just like how this town was built. Thinking about it like that gives me a strange feeling. We just need to get close to the Autophagos so that the power of the spirits will reach it for sure, and then activate Vesperia number one. That means we need to get to... The Tower of Tarkaron. Duke's hideout. Are we gonna fight him? I don't know, but we can't let him use Tarkaron. I guess we can't walk around it. Yeah. All right, then. I'll start working on Vesperia Number 1's repairs. Great. Let's aim to be ready to leave by tomorrow.
What are you doing, Patty? Looking for Yuri. Have you seen him? I think he's somewhere in town. Probably sleeping. Hmm. Yuri's just about the only one who can successfully hide from me. In any case, what are you doing, Flynn? Patrolling. This town has no barrier, so I have to work extra hard to keep it safe. What is it? Why are you the one patrolling? You're a commandant. Or is this part of a knight's duty? It has nothing to do with a knight's duty or rank. A knight is... well, it's difficult to explain. Is it? Personally, I believe they exist solely to protect the people, but not all knights agree. Then things haven't actually gotten any better? No. They've improved quite a bit, though there are those who don't believe so. Lies and rumors are insidious things. Ah, oh, Flynn. You have far too many woes for one so young. True. I have no want for trouble, but I am prepared to face it. Is that right? Ever since I learned the law is imperfect, I've looked for a definitive boundary between good and evil. Recent events have shown me that no such boundary exists. In the end, all I can do is face each trouble as it arises. Perhaps this path is full of pain, but I won't run. That's what I am prepared for. Hmm. 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 Patty? Admirable, but codswallop. Long ago... I led the pirates as I freed, but I was only their boss because they had all given me their support. And had Yuri and the others not been there when my memories returned, I'm not sure what would have happened. Without them, I wouldn't be the chipper lass I am today. Patty. You don't have to bear your troubles alone. You have Yuri and me. We all have troubles, so we should work together to figure them out. Together, yes. You're right. Thank you, Patty. You know, sometimes I can't help feeling that you are terribly mature. Huh, <laughs> it's alright. You aren't the first to fall for my intoxicating charms. If we all work through our troubles together, then someday we'll be able to make the world we dream of a reality. Everything we do, starting with taking down the Autophagos, will be worth it. Resolving to act on a decision influences those around you, and then that decision becomes reality. That's how whole worlds are created. <sighs> Sink me. I'm losing out on my beauty sleep. Off to bed I go. What about Yuri? I'm young. I'm sure there'll be plenty more chances. Good night. Good night. Don't bear your troubles alone. Can't sleep? What about you? Oh, I was just out talking with Baul and it got late. I was just checking on how the repairs were coming along. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Oh, I hate it when you say that. That's strange. I don't mean anything by it. Hey, what are you gonna do after this is over? If all goes right, all the Blastia will stop working, including Hermes Blastia. Right. You won't have anything to do. I guess not. That's all I had. Baul was my only friend. Destroying Hermes Blastia was my only purpose. I mean, I had my reasons, but... But? After traveling around with you all, I guess... I don't really care anymore. You're just gonna drop it like that? What are you going to do? You lived for your Blastia research. Th there's tons of stuff I could study. Besides, I realize there are things I can believe in besides Blastia. I don't have any family, so I don't... But uh, I kind of like, you know, how we are. Hey. 
that's just between us. You can't tell anybody. I won't, I promise. <laughs> it's fun to have secrets with someone. You've changed. You never would have said anything like that when we first met. <sighs> All the different people, different things on this journey, you know? Yeah, I do. I never dreamed I'd end up like this. I don't want to go back. Me neither. When everything's done, maybe I'll just travel the world with Ba'ul. That's nice. Hey, take Estelle too. There's still a lot in this world she should see. You're not coming? It'll be so lonely without you. Uh, well, I guess I could. Well, if we're going to do that, first we have to protect the world. Of course, we'll show that thing. Yes, we certainly will. That's the last one! Good work. Sorry for making your work right before the final battle. Don't worry about it. I'm a member of a guild. I have to do something. It's nice to be able to do things for others. Oh, such grown-up words from Master Carol. Yeah, I never did stuff just for other people. I wanted to show others that I could do stuff. I thought that was my dream, but I guess not. To make a guild, to make the guild big, to be a respected boss. All boys have those dreams. It's fine. But that was all just so I would look cool. I mean, there's so much you can't do alone. Yeah. I guess so. I thought I had to do it alone, or I'd look bad. Or it'd be worthless, or whatever. That's not helping people. I see. If you work together, you can do a lot more and make a lot more people happy. I realized that traveling with everyone. I like that a lot more. Young Master Carol, you are something. So far ahead of this old man. You are cool enough, just as you are. You're cool too, Raven. Not as cool as Yuri, but... Oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> so what's your dream, Raven? Me? To be stinking rich with bevies of gorgeous women all around. Mm. I'm kidding. Now, hmm, I'm finally back to just living. So I guess my dream is to be able to dream again someday. That sounds pretty hard, but I'm sure you can do it. Thank you. I think I'll get it. Hey, is your heart okay? Yeah, it's weird, but it's fine. Even if I work it hard, it just keeps going. I guess that's the effect of the spirits. I guess this plan isn't all bad. I'm glad I met everyone. I mean, you too, of course. I'm glad I met you too. Really. We're gonna win tomorrow. In a big way. All right, we should get to bed soon. Lack of sleep is the elderly's worst enemy. Okay, night. Yeah, good night. Dreams are so not my style. But here I am, dreaming. <laughs> what am I gonna do with myself? It's almost time. Yeah, I start to think about it and I can't sleep. You get that way too? You say it like I'm made of iron or something. Would you mind if I sat next to you? Thank you. <laughs> it's warm. Tomorrow we face that Autophagos. It's ironic that we're actually using Alexei's research to fight it. If they had only been able to think of others... 
Yeah, but they made their choices. Nothing we can do about that. Choices? You've always made your own choices. How I figured if someone's gonna choose, it might as well be me. And I won't find out if I made the right choices until the end. But that's wonderful. Making a choice is so hard. You made your own choice too. I think I figured it out while traveling with you all. To live means to choose, and to have the resolve to make those choices. I think that's kind of overdoing it. I always just played the role I was given. I was happy to heal people and be thanked, but then I learned my power was poisoning the world. Someone was always using me. What about now? I... I don't know, but... I feel like I'm here, doing what I am, because it's my choice. My wish. I'm glad I came on this journey with you, Yuri. Me too. I wasn't too sure what would happen when you asked me to take you out of the castle. I'm sure. I like traveling. Lots of different people, different experiences. We traveled the whole world, but I never got tired of it. I think it fits me. I think I'll just keep on going around. And keep helping people in need. <laughs> Yeah, maybe there's some tomboy princess out there being chased by an evil monster. You're mean. <laughs> it's strange. Right now, I'm not scared at all. If anything, the thought that a new world is about to dawn is... The Autophagos won't kill us. We'll live on. And I'll be able to stay with everyone. With you. Thanks. I feel the same way. Let's get it over with. And live on in a future we choose. Okay. Looks like you slept well. Yes, I did. Like a log. The bed was so much more comfortable than when we were here before. Yeah, the whole town is in really good shape. A city this nice needs a name. All right, naming genius. Give it a shot. Okay, okay. Scrappy handcraft. <laughs> you suck. Um, the light that melts away the snow. Arnian. How's that? Arnian? That's a nice name. Now it's got the Imperial Seal of Approval. That settles it. Fantastic! I'm all done too. With Vesperia number one? This is Yoder's sword, isn't it? What? Is it really okay for us to use that? It's just the right shape and size. Plus, it's forged from rare metal. If I recall, rare metal is quite scarce, and known to be exceedingly durable. Listening to your discussion made me remember this sword. I'm utterly incompetent with swords, so I'd be delighted if it was of use to you. Somehow it already feels... different. It is a decent blade. So then this one would be Vesperia number two! It doesn't matter what it's called. It's almost time. Yeah. This time, it really is the final battle. Leave the construction of the Blastia network to us. Wait, Commandant, you should go with them. Sodia? No one knows what might happen. They will need your help. But the Knights have been tasked with persuading the people to help with the Blastia. I am well aware that we will not succeed without the people's cooperation. Don't worry. I'm here too, after all. Very well. But Sodia, Witcher, even though we'll be working separately, we are still a team. Remember that, if nothing else. Yes. Okay! 
We have discussed the Blastia and spirits, and what to do after everything is done. But I think it will take time for some to accept this change. You're right. Many people will be so lost. However, they cannot live in a new world without accepting the changes. You're right. I will start by talking with the people here. They built this wonderful city of Arnian from nothing but a plane. Yes, the residents here should accept it. Good luck. No one would listen to me even if I tried. No way! Estelise, everyone, take care. Everyone, please, stop working for a moment. His Majesty Yoder has something to say. I have something very important to tell you all. This will affect the Empire, the Guilds, and even the Entelikea. I wonder if they'll be okay. They believed in us enough to send us. Let's believe in them. Yes! Well, we have our own work to do. Carol? Do your thing. Right! Everybody! We will win no matter what! Onward, brave Vesperia! Yes! Right. You look pretty tired, Rapide. Ow! Hey! He only looks tired to lull his enemies into a false sense of security. Enemies? I'm not an enemy! He hasn't been fighting lately. Maybe he has a lot of pent-up energy. Play with him some. D don't you think it'd be better if you did that, Yuri? Ah! Ah! Oh, that's nice, Carol. Looks like Rapide's warmed up to you. What? He just wants attention, because he hasn't been fighting lately! Ah, let go! Let go! just sleeping in the ground near Ospio. I can't believe it. That must be a life-absorbing formula expanding around it. It looks that way. This isn't good. It looks like it came together pretty quickly. So there's not much time left. Perfect! People always heave ho with a deadline looming over them. That might be true, but it still puts us in hot water. If it's absorbing life from everyone, that should affect us as well, but... Estelle? The spirits. They've swathed us in their power. So we should be fine as long as the spirits' power is greater than that formula. Then we just need to run right to the top before that changes. That'll exhaust us before we even face the Autophagos. Can't we just get on Baul and fly up to the top? I doubt it would affect Baul, but we probably couldn't take it. You just don't want to climb up. Of course not! Who do you think I am? Sorry, old man, but it looks like we're walking. Yay. We must brace ourselves and press forward. Yeah, don't let your guard down. Who knows what's waiting for us up ahead? I hope everyone will accept this. I mean, that the world is changing. 
There's a difference between understanding something and accepting something. It'll take time. But this is the only way that's left. We just have to accept it. This isn't a choice we've made freely. We had to choose it. Not everyone will welcome it, that's for certain. But... It's something we have to do. That's what you want to say, right? Y yeah That's fine then. Cheer up, Carol. Okay. You think it'll work out, right? Who knows? Judith, I can't tell if you're trying to make me feel better or not. What you want is different from what's actually there. Reality can be a harsh mistress. All of this be kept underground for so long. The reason so many Blastia were excavated from around Ospio must have been because this was here. The ancient Garayo civilization. This is more amazing than anything in a book. Something feels strange. I know this is a weapon, because he's going to use it against the Autophagos. But from the outside, it looked like a city. Did they turn an entire city into a weapon? Maybe they had to sacrifice such a huge city so they could stand a chance against the Autophagos. This place is enormous. So many people must have lived here. And now, one man is holed up in here to destroy every last person. Duke. I'd rather not meet him if we don't have to. That soldier was already a hero in the Great War. Who knows how much stronger he's gotten since. What are you talking about? We'll just kill the Autophagos before we fight Duke. Then Duke won't have a reason to sacrifice humanity! I hope so. The ancient civilization of Garaios. What must the people have been like who lived in an age that produced buildings like this? Well, I'm no expert on their lives, but I have some ideas from the Blastia we've excavated. Except for the Autophagos, from a scientific perspective, their civilization was nearly perfect. Their Blastia would have given them power equal to that of the Entelechea. Oh yeah, otherwise the Entelechea would have wiped them out. It's hard to believe that the people who were so scared of monsters, who locked themselves inside of a barrier, could have been so mighty. People got too much power and destroyed what they built in the process. It's not that uncommon. But there's one part of their legacy we're still paying for. Yep, they left behind the Autophagos for folks who came after them to deal with. Maybe they didn't have a choice, but that doesn't make it right. You take responsibility. We... We'll have to own up to whatever choices we make from now on, too. That's right. If we're gonna make a world without Blastia, we gotta make sure it works. We'll do a proper job with our own hands. Yeah, absolutely. Destroy them in no time!
Targ to the very top of Tarkaron. Oh, you're full of vim, Patty. We're gonna need a whole lot of vim to take down that giant Atafagos. Just don't use it all up before we get there, okay? And with the Atafagos gone, it will be the dawn of a new world. One without Blastia. There's nothing to fear. Everyone will be able to move on even without Blastia. I'm sure of it. You saw Yoder and the people from the guilds in Ornion, right? With them in charge, people will learn to live, even if there are problems along the way. The possibilities are bigger than a blue whale! I believe that. Even without the Autophagos, there would be no future in sacrificing life after life like Duke did. And I intend to fight at your side to guarantee a better future, Yuri. I'm counting on you. Enemy doesn't look so nice. We must be cautious. Doesn't look so nice. We must be cautious. What rock you crawled out from? Bring it. Watch out. This one's tough. That was so easy!
one strong. Don't just stand there whining. Oh, 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 oh,
you wherever you rise. I can do either. Ready for anything. Tough. Show no quarter.
going bye bye. We shouldn't let this go to our heads. I have... Get ready for anything. Pick the wrong people to fight with.
and strong. Show no quarter. Ready. So do you. wasn't too People really live in this place? I don't know where we're supposed to go next. It's like the place is made to confuse us. It was probably built according to a plan at first, but after all sorts of little improvements, it ended up being the tangled city that it is. Isn't it strange that such an advanced civilization would have such haphazard planning? Maybe they were so advanced that the plans couldn't keep up with the rate of progress. It could be that technology even a few years old became obsolete, so plans were constantly changed. There's no use making guesses about what happened to a lost civilization. Let's keep going. You're not interested in figuring out how that lost civilization kept from getting lost? We men will make a path. That's right! Oh, please. So go ahead, lead the way.
so high! I wonder how much farther we'll have to climb. Yes, I've never even flown this high with Baul. I'm tired of everyone saying hi! That word is forbidden from now on. But this really is the weapon that can destroy the Autophagos. <clears throat> the Garayo civilization was even greater than I thought. But we're the ones who have to beat the Autophagos! Yeah, we'll be in for trouble if we leave things up to Duke. Let's hurry. Yeah. 